students, I will show you how to use a great website, storybird.com. You can use Storybird to write stories. So, first, here, write your username. Here, write your password. Then, click here, sign in. Now, this is your page. Here is your stuff, your books. When you write a book, your book is here. Next, click class. Ah, good. This is the Grammar 100 class page. Here is our homework. Assignments means homework. So here is our homework. Here is our library. When I write a book, the book goes in the library. When you write a book, the book goes in the library. When other students write a book, the book goes in the library. So here are all of the books for our class. And here, aha, you know them. Those are the students in our class. Please click here on homework number one. But here is information about your homework. We also will talk about this in class and you have a paper. I will not talk about the homework. I will help you with the website. So click here, start a story bird. Good, now you see many, many pictures. These are pictures. If you like a picture, click. If you don't see a picture that you like, then you can search. So here, write a word. Maybe you like cats. Maybe you want a cat in your story. So click. And here, 200 pictures of cats. That is a lot of cats. So maybe you see a picture you like or not. So we can go back and search again for a different word. Family. Now we have 109 pictures of families, some animals and some people. I will look and look and look. Hmm. There are a lot of nice pictures. I will choose this. So click. Ah, nice. So here, yes, I like this picture. I want to use this picture in my story. So click use this art. Click and for a story. Click. Here is a new page. This is page number one in my book. And let's see here. I can type my story. Who are they? They are a family. And I can, I can say more. I can stop or I can say more. So I could say, mm, Steph is a mother. David is a father. Ben is a young boy. Ta-da! Great. But that is a good start, but we need more. So we have one page. We need more. Here, this little green button. Click, and a new page. It is blank. It needs a picture. We need a picture here. So here are many, many pictures on the right. There are many, many pictures on the left. I will choose this picture. Oh, nice, I like it. It's an apartment, um, maybe the Wesley dorm. So here again, click and I can write. Is it, oops, is it morning? What do you think, is it morning? No, it's not. What time of day is it? What time of day is it? Right, it's night. 
it's night. Now, maybe I want to move the picture. So I click and I can move it here. Nice. When I move the picture, the words move, the story moves also. I can click a little more. And now it's small. I can click in the middle. And now it's big. Click and move it up. It is up and click and move it down, and it is on the bottom. I like it here. Good. Now we have page one and page two. We need another page. Page three. Good. Now I will look for another picture. Oh, I like that. So I can say this is, who is this? This is Hassan. He's, hmm, what is he? He's happy. Good. And then maybe another page. Click, and we need another picture. Do you see any pictures you really like? I'll try this one. Oh, that's good. Hmm, maybe it's a father and a son and a daughter. Or maybe it's a waiter or a chef in a restaurant and a man and a woman, a husband and a wife, maybe. Good. I like it. So again, you can type here or go back to the middle. Good. So we have page one, page two, page three, and page four. Maybe this is my favorite page. Maybe I want it to be page one. So I can click and move it. Now it is page one. Maybe I want this to be page one. Now it is page one. Great. Maybe I don't want this page anymore. Page four. So click here, the red button. Do I want to remove? Yes, I do. Okay. Now it's gone. And we just have page one, page two, and page three. When you finish writing your story, click on cover. Cover. The cover is the front of a book. It's the outside, the front of the book. Then click on classic. And here is a picture. And here is a place for the title, the name of the story. So I can write a happy family, one idea. Or I can say a beautiful day in California, maybe. Or I can say Who are, well, I should capitalize, who are they? I think I will stay with a happy family. Great. Here you can change the color. Storybird helps you choose pretty colors, choose beautiful colors with your picture. If you want to change your picture, you can. On the cover. So you can try this and the colors change. Or you can try this and again the colors change. And you can choose any color that you like. Great. Maybe one other one. Oh, that's pretty. Great. So that is storyboard. When you finish, you have a picture and a title. If, hey, where are our pictures? Where are our pages? If you click here, go back. Now here are our pages. Cover, page one, page two, page three. You can go back to cover and back to pages. All right. When you're finished, click save. You want to save your wonderful story. And then click menu and publish.
when you publish here, your book goes in our class library. Well, I hope you have fun. I hope you like Storybird. I hope you practice your grammar. And I'm excited to read your stories. Great. Good luck and have fun. Happy writing. Bye.